Hi there, I'm MJ Ansel Zambi, volunteer reporter for Shaw Cable, and today I have the privilege and the honor of speaking with a founding member and president of MAD, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. So how did you get involved with MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving? I was actually reading a story on, on, on an impaired driving crash and the victims and what the families went through. And my son was teaching driver's ed at the time, and I had asked him a question about the laws, and when he told me about them, I was horrified. And I thought, you, you must be kidding, this is all they get? And he said, well, if you don't like it, do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I sat and I thought in the office for a while, and I contact, contacted Mad Canada, and uh, they gave me all the tools I needed to start the chapter, and, and obviously learned along the way with a lot of phone calls for their direction, and, and here we are today. And how many years ago was that? That was in 2000 we became a chapter. I did st stand down for a year and a half mm -hmm. with health issues, mm -hmm. but I'm back again. And, and uh, right about now we're just, just trying to regroup and, and get more volunteers so that we can do a lot more events. So are you looking for volunteers? Are you looking for financial help? How can we help you? We are looking for financial help. We, we would like to bring the... Um, it's called Long Weekend. It's a motivational media produced by Mad Canada. Uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of kids across Canada see this. It's where we come into the schools and we set up a large, big three screens and uh, have all the students from the school come down to watch it. It's about 45 minutes. It's, it's got a storyline. It's got victims who actually speak about their losses. And uh, it's, it's quite moving and you have a lot of kids who, you know, when they come in they're chatty and when they're leaving they're very somber and, mm -hmm. and thoughtful and a lot of them come over and speak to us on how it moved mm -hmm. them. So it's a real, real story then? It, it is and the victims are real. They're real victims who are talking about the loved one they lost. There's real tears. Mm -hmm. Um, it costs about a thousand dollars per school to put on and we are Medicine Hat District so we do Brooks and Bizano and, and Oyen, mm -hmm. uh, Bow Island. So we're hoping to get at least, sorry, four schools in Medicine Hat and maybe a couple in the outlying areas if we can. Right. So do you also look after some of the stop checks during the Christmas season and the summer season? We do. Yes, we do. And we're looking to have our, our check stops again this Christmas. We have found, like over the years when we first started, we had more impaired driving charges and more 24-hour suspensions. And as the years have come along, we're finding less and less because people are very aware that we are out there at Christmas and they don't know what day and what time. Right, and now with the zero tolerance, it's probably even more top awareness. I believe it is. You know, I, I, I have a friend whose uh, cousin was killed two days before Christmas in an impaired driving crash in Calgary. And, and the thing that touched me the most is, is his mother saying, what do I do with this present? And she left it under the tree. She just didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. You know, what a horrifying story. It, it's heartbreaking, you know, and there's so many stories and, and they're all the same and they're all different. And the heartache is, is different for each person and they handle it each differently. And that's one of the biggest things we do is, is victim services. We sit with victims, we talk with them, we listen to their story a hundred times, you know, as if it's the first. Right. So is there a phone number or a website people can do more research or call you? Uh, they can go to the Mad Canada website. Uh, it gives you all sorts of things that you can do there. Uh, locally, we are looking for more volunteers to sit on our board. Uh, it's not like we have you working every day. It's only when we have events. But we also need people for the board, and that's once a month. 403-504-4000 is the number. And if they just uh, Google Mad Canada and they will get to their website and they will find out everything they need to know about the whole organization. Great. Well, thank you so much for bringing the chapter to Medicine Hat. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So if there's anything that you can do personally or financially to help mothers against drunk driving, please do not hesitate to call Sylvia. Take care and remember, if you're at a party, make other arrangements to make it home safely. We'll see you next time right here on Shaw. Location was provided by Peggy Giesen Consulting, specializing in staff development. 
The facility is also open for group rentals where you can host any size party and bring in your own refreshments. Address is 523A North Railway Street, 403-504-7825 or you can contact her through her website at www.peggyheason.com. MJ's hair and makeup was done by the Elysian Hair Group on South Railway Street. MJ's wardrobe and accessories supplied by Phase 2 Clothing and Boutique, downtown on 2nd Street. MJ's eyewear supplied by Rims of Steel on Dunmore Road Southeast.